Andy um, is a very intelligent guy, um, sort of self-schooled. You know, he was a teacher who kind of taught himself to be an entertainer. And, you know, he I don't know if he ever studied acting anywhere or not, but he really built his own sense, his own aesthetic, you know, and it just kind of came from a place of logic for him. And, and, but he was an entertainer first. You know, he was a monologuist, and he was a singer, and he, and he never was really a stand-up comedian per se, but he was a humorist, kind of in the Will Rogers vein. And uh, that's what he did, first and foremost. And, you know, to this day, if you get him up in front of an audience, he's pretty entertaining, he knows how to do it. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, he's, and he's ambitious about it, you know, he, he, wants, he wants to entertain. He could be very, very serious. The show was important to him. He poured everything he had into it. And, and uh, he was the, really the rock that, on which the show was built in every way. And um, he was the one that established the tone of that set, which was playful um, when, you could, when, when it was appropriate to be having fun. But when the time came to to make the show, to do the shot, to get the joke, that was pretty serious. And um, I've, I've always felt that that's another thing that I really took away from the show, was a sense that, hey, it was, you know, it could be a lot of fun, but uh, we have a responsibility to what we're doing here. And, and um, it, you know, it's, it is something to, um, it's an opportunity not to be wasted. And, and so, so Andy was a real great natural leader, even though he wasn't formally a producer on the show and f formally a writer. He was a tremendous contributor and, and, um, and, and often was a kind of an arbiter of, you know, what was right and wrong with the scene. 